morning afternoon or evening all today I'm just going to have a quick just a quick job on the XJ750 to change the uh, change the starter solenoid I was on it the other day I went to the shops come out of the shops and it's like oh no <laughs> it's like I had, to, I had to press it about half a dozen times before it actually turned over I don't think it's a switch because I think I've changed this uh, this this little button here about a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago. So I know it's not the little switch, but it's been having problems. So today it's behind the triangle window. It's behind there. So let me get my tripod set up and we can just uh, you can see what's going on behind that side panel. Right. See you in a second. Let's see. Going on in there. I hope it's bright enough. Let me get something to needle. Yes, nothing to needle. So here's where the solenoid is in there. Easier, easy to change. Bigger than the, uh, it's bigger than the original one, uh, the, the replacement one. Same plug, that's all right. Different color wires don't really matter because all it does is create a circuit for the uh, for the uh, coil to click over the solenoid. What's that? Ten mil. Actually, uh, we could test it first. I mean, just see. It could just be this plug, which needs a bit of clean up. Right, put the plug in the right way. We take that one off. I think. I'll take take one of them off because we don't want to keep starting a bike up, do we? This is the start a motor cable. Don't need that on there for the minute. Oh. Well, it seems to be working alright. But whatever the contacts are all uh, carbon up, you know, got a lot of carbon on there, might not be making a proper contact. Yeah, I just pressed it once, twice, three, four, five, six. So it stopped working now. It won't, it won't click over at all now. I can barely, barely feel a little. I think it's just actually. I think it's just packed up. Well, that's the result, so we can change that over then. Cool. It is over 40 years old, so ain't done too bad. Uh, 
this one's a little bit on a smaller than that, so I presume it probably won't last half as long. Check that out. And it works, so that'd be alright. I don't think I need that bit of rubber on there. Let's cut that. Cut that bit of rubber off, so I don't think I want that on there. Alright, there you go. Let's put it all back together. Ignition off. No washers or nothing. Okay, make it even any easier with this bit of rubber. Okay, we can do it. We can do it. So that wants to go somehow in there. still fits which is good. I don't like that live right next to the earth though. No choice for that at the moment. That will just sit in there I think. Let's do that. Do that now. Rubber in the way. You can see me going to cut this off again in a minute. Let's try not to earth the. Uh, what size is that? Ten mil. Ten. Oh, that ain't going there. socket ain't going on because of the, the actual terminal is stopping it. It should work now. So, it's, oh, it's quite tight. Don't like this bit in there though. What I don't like is this live wire is so close to the earth and where it where it joins to for the, uh, the rest of the wiring is because that could vibrate and wear its way through. So I think I need to extend this wire really so it comes down down and in. Let me go and see what I've got and I'll be back in a minute. Well, I couldn't find another live cable so I've rerouted that over the top of the battery so it goes behind the earth and then that sits in the, uh, the little pocket nicely now. All the wires there and all I need to do 
is probably straighten that up so it's not pressing up against the wire. Straight walk. Because at the moment it, put, it, goes, it goes round the back. So if I straighten that up, then it will miss. Then it will miss me uh, live wire. Then I'll be happy. That misses that, misses that wire completely now. Uh, you know, he goes on there. Screw that in. Where's me? solenoid in. All I do now is put this screw in and screw it to the battery with the pan in the butt because the little nut behind keeps moving. Just a wish sound behind a little nut. with uh, a new rubber but the distance between these is slightly uh, shorter than the distance between the old rubber so I'll, rather than mess around trying to stick that on for the next hour I'll just leave the old rubber in there and the actual solenoid fits further back into it because this is a bit ain't as um, deep as the original ones like twice the length for that so jobs are good Back on the road a bit then. Thanks for watching and I'll, uh, I'll catch you on the next one.